go for it. Go big. And I got to give the Arizona Cardinals credit. And Steve Keim, their general manager, they drafted a quarterback, Josh Rosen, and they immediately identified, hey, we don't think it's special enough in this division to win. And they acknowledged we're going to redraft quarterback. Whoa, whoa, whoa. GMs don't do that. That is like that never happens. Steve Kime, the GM of Arizona, you watch Arizona play? That They have an unbelievable talent at quarterback. But for that to happen, they had to acknowledge, yeah, we, we missed last year. It happens. 50% of quarterbacks don't work. Man up and just admit, we missed. Arizona did. They may be the most spectacularly fun team to watch in the entire league, and that includes Kansas City. So Miami has done a lot right. Chris Greer, the GM, sharp. Brian Flores, smart. Last year was a great quarterback class, and they chose a wide receiver. Folks, there's 25 to 30 wide receivers a year in this draft that come into this league and play. At 30 a year, more than ever. California, high school football in California, there's 40 Division I wide receivers. There's about three big-time quarterbacks. You can get a receiver anywhere. And they stuck with Tua. And they stuck with Tua knowing in their division they would have to face for the next 10 years Josh Allen 20 times minimum. Bigger, stronger, athletic, agile, huge arm. But they had just drafted Tua, and they could not acknowledge in a great quarterback class at a position that's 50-50 if you can get one good quarterback a class, a great one, one a class. And they stuck with wide receiver, and they stuck with Tua. And Brian Flores knew, I can't beat him. Buffalo's beaten Miami six straight times. Josh Allen, as smart as Brian Flores is, and he is, he's a terrific coach, and he may be the second best defensive coach in the league. He can't stop Josh Allen. The last five times Josh Allen has faced Brian Flores, he scores 38 a game, 14 TD, two picks, passer rating at 115. Brian Flores can't stop him. Brian Flores knows when I face him, if I stick with Tua for the next 10 years, I will be at a massive size, arm, athletic ability deficit 20 out of 20 times. But they just drafted a quarterback. In a great quarterback class, we're going to go wide receiver. And I, I'm, not, I'm not backseat driver here. I said it before the class. I said, they got to draft another quarterback. They're going to be too good. They'll never get you. First of all, you're going to have another quarterback class this good? It was like a unique. Next year's quarterback class is one guy everybody acknowledges is a star, Spencer Rattler. And i got to be honest with you. He's a lot of, there's a lot to clean up there. A lot. And all I'm saying is, now where's Miami? Where, where, what are they? Because they don't have anything close to Josh Allen. And to his hurt again. Not his fault. Nobody's saying it's his fault. But he had an injury history. And he's small. And he's marginally athletic. There's, there's not, and everybody knew it. And we can't stop Josh Allen. And pride before the fall. Sometimes, and I know guys don't like, go to Twitter for five minutes. Guys can't admit they're wrong. But sometimes the most brilliant decision is admitting my previous decision was completely off base. You're not beating Buffalo for a decade unless you get that quarterback position, more athletic, bigger, stronger, faster. You're not beating them because Brian Flores now can't even, it, it, it doesn't matter. They can't stop Josh Allen. By the way, not many can.